All right, guys. So first of all, karma is not on my side. Yesterday, my airplane company lost my luggage. Yesterday at night, I saw that the server of the web page that I wanted to present was down. And today, my, my laptop is actually not running. <laughs> so I'm really improvising here, but nevertheless. <laughs> First of all, thank you, Jin Dong and the DBCLS for the invitation and the funding, and, and thank you to you for using your laptop now for the presentation. <laughs> and today I'm going to have two mini short talks. First of all, I'm going to present TacTalk, which is a, also a framework for doing annotations, and it's a web interface that you can use for doing all the annotations of entities and relationships. And, but then on top, also, you can use this manually, but then you can also use automatic annotations so from machine learning. And also what we provide is the possibility is that after we do the annotations automatically, the user can use the web interface to correct any mistakes, uh, possible mistakes from our predictions. And we show, the, uh, for example, one user of, of TACTOC is the Flybase database at Cambridge. And they we presented last year a paper uh, the workflow that they had of, of, of doing this, for example, first is starting with some manual annotations. We learn from that with the machine learning. We predict new stuff and, and, and iteratively doing this, and we saw uh, a progressive improvement of, of the performance of the machine learning methods. Today, what or for the hackathon that I want to present is, is, is here, but the, the latest work that we have really work, been working on is on formalizing an API, a REST API, for TACTOC, how to use it. And uh, here's all the documentation on, 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 on TACTOC openly on, on GitHub. And you typically will call this like that, for example, to, I don't know if you see it properly, uh, or like this, so you say properly. So it's like, uh, maybe like that, better. So you will, for example, if you want to recognize a PubMed ID, uh, you will say select the ID type and also the ID of that. But also you could try to call other ID types, for example, uh, PubMed's, uh, uh, PubMed ID or our own TACTOC ID, or even submit any other type of text or files, some different files that we recognize. And as output, what we is documented here we recognize different types of outputs that you put in the, in the parameter. And one of those is, for example, visualize, which is you just visualize the results on the web uh, interface of TACTOC. But then also we will show, for example, this unjson, which is our yet another format that we use ourselves uh, internally. And the job, basically, of the hackathon for us will be to also provide pop annotation format as, as, as a formal and, and something that is a stable. And, and that's what we want to convert the annotations. And maybe also together working with Sampo and, and Lars or, or Kevin, maybe trying to work with the open annotation format or the BIOC format. And that's what we really want to make stable. And also on TACTOC, maybe we want to give the possibility to users of all the annotations that they do, push them automatically to the pub of annotation archive so that the user doesn't have to do anything uh, for that. And I guess that's actually pretty much what uh, I wanted to, to show today or this week. Tomorrow I will not be able to be in the morning because I may go to Haki Havara to buy a new laptop. <laughs> but um, this is the things that I'm interested in. So all these collaborations between different formats and, and, 